know for sure is Michaela didn't fall down the stairs. After him saying it, time after time after time. That young fireman had come in here, he had the word for that. Do you remember what he said? Bull. What we know for sure is a beautiful young Clark County girl, 10 years of age, is murdered at the hands of these two. These two people, ladies and gentlemen, that were supposed to take care of her. Counsel will both stand up here and say that they're guilty of something. That's going on the obvious. But that you folks, they're going to make your job easier. You do not have to look at the not guilty. How kind. How very kind. I submit to you folks the evidence you've seen, the pictures you've seen, the testimony here, that this is absolutely the textbook case for indifference to human life. These two people sitting right back here behind their lawyers were so indifferent to this child's life that in the last days of her life, uncontroverted, she was scalded, beat, bit, assaulted, and placed in the car in her dead or dying to be hauled off to the river gorge for a family picnic. You remember the very first time that Joey Watkins was interviewed by Detective uh, Brown? The first, you know what she did? Do you remember that interview? She sat through that long interview and we listened to it too. But do you remember the very end of it? She looked up at me and smiled. She said, Am I going to get that cigarette now? Am I going to get that cigarette now? You remember what he said, don't you? When the detective was talking to him, do you remember what he said? He said, I've had enough of this. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I need to lay down and go to sleep. I'm hungry. I want to lay down and go to sleep. 77 injuries, two bites, and an ungodly series of burns. And that they didn't realize that this child's life was in jeopardy, and that they just disregarded it, the troll wasn't that big a deal. It was the absolute unmitigated disregard for the value of human life. Did you hear what Dr. Hammond said? So he never seen that many crap that way. Man, that's a blow. Wow. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the murder weapon. One of the other is a bathtub. That's what they did. Make no mistake about it. They went to the Red River Gorge and they got all those hills and stuff. And you remember what uh, one of the questions they asked him, Detective Brown, what's up there? I said, Cliffs. Cliffs. And he said, Mr. Spot said, well, gee, wonder why they didn't just leave her up there. Do you remember what James Hall said? It was a warm day. It was a warm day in March. Guess what happens on a warm day in March? She said it. The place was crowded. They couldn't find a place to park. People's everywhere. I submit to you that these two murderers had no intention to bring that baby back to Winchester, but they couldn't. Too many people. Everybody would see them. They didn't have any picnic. Have you ever heard of such? A picnic. And guess what else they took with them? Gee, I wonder why they were going to take this. I wonder why this wasn't coming back either. It wasn't coming back either. You choose. They beat her death or they stomp her to death. You picked it.